All right, almost ready to go with this one. Here is tonight's tale of the tape. All right, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC at the weight division. Introducing first, fighting at the blue corner, presenting the former UFC women's back and weight champion of the world, Juliana, the Venezuelan Vixen Pena! And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Alexis Davis! You ready to fight? You ready? All right, so here's Juliana Pena out to prove once again that she is one of the very best 135 pounders in the world. And she does take exception at times to people who believe that she is solely a ground fighter. Look at the Amanda Nunes fight. She can strike, she can put it all together, and she certainly has been buoyed by recent results. She says she's ready to produce another bonus, another win, and show off her best version to date in this matchup tonight. a terrible position. Oh, big elbow. Oh, Pena's in half court. Oh, right into Mount. Postures up and lands a brutal strike to the head. Oh, nice elbow. And now she has her back. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Making all these shots count. Oh, flat jack. She got flattened out there. Nice transition. Oh, nice headlock. Oh, looks like she's got that arm triangle locked in. Tonight, good work here by Pena. Not there yet, but might get the submission here shortly. Nice positional control here. And very effective with the ground and pound. Big elbow. She's got her back now, DC, and I don't mean she's like there to support her, right? She is literally on her back and in control of this fight. She's in control of this fight. Look for her to start trying to slide that arm under the neck to finish the fight with the children. Oh, she's got it locked in. That looks painful. She has so many ways to take Oh, great submission defense as she gets out. Final seconds of round one. So there's the end of the round. And in terms of offensive wrestling execution, she had it all going there. Yeah, she had it all working. She did everything she wanted to do. She was racing to position. Once she got to a leg, she didn't pause. She didn't stop. She went right to the finishes that she needed in order to get the fight to the ground. I mean, that was a great display of offensive wrestling. Ready to fight. Ready. Go. All right. Round two. Drive. Strike right there, DC. Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down and get another one off to finish the fight. Drag down by Pena. We'll see if she can set up the on bar now. 
Ooh, that's tight. I'd be tight. It's starting to get real tight in there. Oh, tremendous escape by her there. Beautiful submission defense on display by this young lady. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Pena. Another strike gets through from the top position. She is so dominant from the top position. She got stopped right in her tracks. Great job by the bottom fighter. Oh, she got that locked in quickly. It's tight. Oh, somehow she gets out. It was locked in. She somehow survived. All right, so her submission attempt is denied yet again. She's going to keep going for it, but the defense has held up every step of the way thus far. Oh, she has to. She has to keep going for it. Because if she wants a chance, she's got to keep trying to throw up submission. Unfortunately, she is trying to submit one of the best grapplers in the division. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Alexis Davis. Oh, arm triangle attempt now. Oh, look out. That thing is tight. It's advancing. She's about to finish. She's out again. Is back in side control. Nice ground strikes landed by her from top position now. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. Oh, Pena's looking for that arm triangle now. Oh, look out, folks, that is tight. It looks like it's getting going. Oh, nice escape by her opponent. Great job staying calm in the face of severe adversity. Oh, Ten minutes. In the can. Let's check out some of the action in that previous round, DC. She certainly kept the stat trackers busy with all those takedowns. All those takedowns and some really nice takedowns. She did a great job of level changing, getting into her opponent, not allowing her opponent to defend before she can secure her takedown. All right, so there it is, the end of the round. Remarkably, after that sequence there on the ground, DC, talk us through it. We thought the fight was over. We thought it was done. It looked so tight. It looked like she was beat, but she was able to relax. Really? What a strike by her there. I'd be knocked out. Her opponent still stands. She's still standing, but she's got to get on her bike, John. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon, find some space so that she can evade her opponent from finishing. That guillotine is tight. Oh, she's out, and I don't mean unconscious. How did she escape? Can you ground and pound from half goal? Oh, my goodness. She's on the arm. Oh, that's tight. She's working hard for the arm bar now. All she's got to do is get her to unlock her hands, and she's almost there. She's still working hard for the submission here. She's like a dog on a bone. Oh, wow, I thought that was going to be the end. Instead, she gets her arm out again. It looked like she was going to tap, but she never gave up on herself, and now she's out of that position. All right, so her ground control is outstanding. Half guard is when she's at her most dangerous. Yeah, she's at her most dangerous when she has the half guard because she's so brutal with the ground and pound. She likes to go after fighters and really wear on them, force them to make decisions to give their backs so that she can chase her submissions, or they're going to lay on their back and just get beaten up from the top from that beautiful half guard position. Oh, big shots from the top. She's got her back now. 
Pena's able to flatten her out. I'm not sure she's going to be able to survive this position. All right, half guard position for her here, and this is a spot where we've seen her have a lot of wild success in previous fights. She has a tremendous amount of success in this position because she's so knowledgeable. She keeps the right side underhook, and she just goes to work with that left arm. She's posting and elbowing. She's building her posture and punching. Oh, man, you could see her head bounce on the canvas. Heavy shot lands. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Pena. Another ground and pound strike lands. Well, doing her able best to avoid the ground and pound here. Nice job by Davis. In the half guard. 30 seconds now to go in the fight. 20 seconds to go in the fight. And there you go, again, half guard. All right, so the fight goes the distance. Outstanding action on both sides all night. All right, so the women go the distance here tonight. Entertaining fight throughout. And she really got it done with her striking, I think. She got it done with her stand-up. That's what she's known for. It's her calling card. It's exactly what we come to expect when this young lady steps into the octagon, throwing her punches and punches, landing beautiful kicks. What a great performance. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 29-28. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Julia! The Venezuelan big son, Pena! So congratulations to the Bantamweight contender, Juliana Pena. She continues to show great improvements since moving her camp to the Midwest. You aren't going to out-mean or out-nasty Pena. She gets one of the biggest wins of her UFC career here tonight.